Maria and welcome to Maria's Kitchen Tales. Today I'm going to tell you about a book that's an autobiography by Elizabeth Bard called Lunch in Paris, A Love Story with Recipes. And so Elizabeth Bard is a journalist who's traveled all over the world. She's written for Huffington Post and for the New York Times. And she decided one day to have lunch with a gentleman in Paris. And basically, this book is about how she ended up falling in love with that gentleman in Paris, but she also fell in love with the food in Paris. And so she has a lot of recipes that are really great in this book. And so the recipe that I'm going to show you today on how to make is called Creamy Carrot Soup. And so right now, I am sauteing some onions in here. In this pot, I already have some carrots that I've chopped up and I have cooked through. And what she puts in her recipe is a third cup of olive oil, two onions, two pounds of carrots, five to six cups of chicken broth, one cup of milk, half a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. And this serves six to eight people. And so I'm not gonna make that large of a recipe, a large soup. I'm just gonna make a smaller version of what she did. And so I have my onion sauteing. And she has a lot of great recipes. But the reason why I chose carrot soup today is because I love carrot soup. It's one of my favorite soups and I've made it for years and I've never made it quite this way so I wanted to try something a little different. And so I have my onions here and then I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. And so here are my carrots. I'm going to pour them in because my, my onions are about caramelized, which is what she says to do. So you cook your onions about seven to 10 minutes and that will caramelize them. And mine are caramelized and now I'm just gonna add the carrots. Now in the book, she, she cooks this for about 30 minutes, but because of the video, I decided to cook my carrots ahead of time. So they're already cooked and that way I'm just going to go ahead and add the next. And the next is chicken broth. So here's the chicken broth and I put in two cups here. She put in about five to six cups because she's making a larger amount. I'm just going to heat it up a little. It, and we've got it in there and then she put in a cup of milk I'm gonna put half a cup even though that might even be too much for what I'm for what I'm doing here because she had um, like two pounds of carrots so I should probably only just put a fourth a cup so I'll put half of this and we'll call that good there we go. So I put in a fourth a cup of milk in there. And if you have lactose intolerance or issues with dairy, then you could always put in coconut milk. Um, that goes really well with carrot soup. So carrot soup, I've seen a lot of recipes where it's coconut milk in there with turmeric and with um, ginger and that's a really nice combination. And she says the ginger is optional for her recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in. But I do wanna show you, I bought some ginger, and ginger's kind of like a funny little um, thing, food, because it's kind of really, like it looks difficult, but it's not. So if you get a serrated spoon, and this is what I have here, it's got little knives right here, and you can actually easily just peel your ginger with the spoon. And it's actually really easy. 
smells wonderful. And that's the way you, you peel your ginger because it's a little kind of funky little shape to it. And so if you have that spoon, it really helps with that. So I've got my soup going and I'm gonna, I added my milk, I added my broth, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my ginger. So I just chopped it up. She said you can just grate your ginger and I just chopped it up. And what I'm going to do next is put in a little pureeer. So this is a little device that's good. If you don't have one of these, it's like a little blender in your hand blender. If you don't have one of these, you can just, um, ahead of time, you can actually, if you cook your carrots separately, you can throw them in the, in the blender and then just blend those carrots up and then pour it in. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my little hand blender. smells really good and because of the blender it's all a little foamy right now and I'm going to go ahead and see if you can see that it's a little foamy and it's still foamy so eventually it's going to like the foam will come down and then you're going to see and you can't see it right this second but you're going to see that it's actually a really nice orangey soup and it smells wonderful. If you wanted to add some pepper and salt to it, you can do that. Um, that's another way of serving it. You can actually put little chunks of cheese, like Havarti cheese, something that's nice and fontina that could melt easily. You can put chunks of that. That's how my mom would do it. She would make a cream soup all the time and she would put little pieces of cheese in there. In the book, what Elizabeth says is she serves the soup with Camberbay and it's baked in its own wooden box for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And she says that's the kind of cheese that she would use to serve with it. I looked and see if I could find it. I couldn't find it. And so um, no cheese with the soup, but cheese and, and cream soup is kind of like the perfect combination and so um, if you've never tried it, give it a shot. And then of course some nice bread that is really um, warm and kind of toasty. And that's perfect for it, like some nice French bread. So here, I don't know if you can see that, that is nice and bright and brightly orange. And it is, really kind of a when I cook it a little longer it'll thicken up a little more and it's just kind of a nice soup um, you can serve with your sandwiches or just have it with your bread and cheese so I hope you enjoy the recipe lunch in Paris was a really fun book and you can see a bunch of other recipes that she had in there and it just kind of makes you wonder you know um, what if you went um, and had lunch in another country and fell in love with the food, fell in love with the people and never came back home. So maybe one day you'll try that. 
So I hope you have a great day today and thanks for joining me. Bye.